What's going on, YouTubers? This would be a little update video. Little update video on my Rustler, my head cam, and actually CT Motorsports. CT Motorsports, honestly, I can honestly say it. And I'm a single out one person at CT Motorsports because he contacted me. He made everything right, YouTubers. I'm not going to lie to you because, I mean, after... If y'all look at my last vid, y'all already know what I went through. I mean, with these K compound ties, and actually these ties did hold up, but it still wasn't wasn't what I had ordered. But they did hold up, and they, they I still have little rocks and stuff on that. They are pretty sticky, but that's still what I didn't order. But actually, one guy. I hope I don't mess up this name. That's George R. To Bush. CT Motorsports. Actually, he contacted me through um, email. I mean, we went back and forth, back and forth through a few emails, and I mean, you know what I'm saying? Talking about what happened and everything else, and you know, and they sent me all, he sent me all a little something. So, I appreciate it. I really do. Honestly, you did, you really made everything right. If it, folks, there it is. My chief fire will focus, focus. <laughs> Anyways, but you really did made everything right. I appreciate it, George. That's George R to Bush. Like I said, we are going to stay in contact with each other. I appreciate it, my brother. Thank you for making everything right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyways, YouTubers, on to my rustler. Honestly, I did the Jado front mod. I mean, why is better? You already know that. And honestly, this little thing handles pretty well. I mean, I didn't do the back end yet. I just was honestly giving a test. I wasn't trying to go all the way hardcore with it, fully squeeze the tr um the trigger or whatever. But I did get into it a little bit. I'm gonna say a little over half, probably by like um say like sixty percent, sixty five percent. I didn't squeeze it too hard because I did see this thing lift up a little bit. This weight, this the weight I made. Honestly, that is weight on there. That's the weight I made. Um, this weight weighs, I think, um, one pound four ounces or one pound five ounces or whatever. This just on the front. And honestly, this thing still, it didn't lift up, but it looked like it was trying to lift up. I mean, if I probably would have squeezed it a little harder. A little, a little too soon instead of rolling to it, it would have lift up. I know it would have. So what I did was I added my little uh, other little weight that I made it, the little top plate. I think this weighed like um what this was eight ounces or uh, something like that. So all together, this should be like right at one pound. 12 ounces or something like that i know i weighed them together and i know they was like one pound and 12 ounces something like that together but i actually i was able to get um 87.3 miles per hour out of it and that's just like i said 60 percent on trigger pull i mean I'm, I'm loving this thing man if i can find a better i was talking to tukey if i can find a better strip a little longer i mean i wasn't trying to gun it number one because they got the reflectors in there or whatever and i didn't want to hear and tear up tear up my car i do have a underneath the um the underbody t-bone bumper but let's be real if you hit a reflector at the right amount of speed you tear your shit up you definitely tear your shit up so anyways so i will i will be running that like i said the k the k compound held up youtubers they held up 80 miles, 87 miles per hour. That's like 13 miles shy of 100. I know if I had to stretch it, they probably would have held up to 100. But I'm going to test it out again. I'm still looking for a better strip. But now, comes to this. I can find a better strip. And actually, I was talking to Tuki, and I finally got my head cam working. This thing is worth every penny I paid for it. I mean, it got good picture quality, sound, it's waterproof. I mean, I'm a hundred bucks into this thing. I'm talking about cam, sixty-five dollars, fifteen dollars for the um SD card. I think twenty some dollars for the um twenty some dollars for the helmet. I mean, I'm not as you see. I started with my stickers too, YouTubers. 
But I'm like a hundred dollars into this thing. I mean, worth every penny. I was telling Tukey, yeah, I'm gonna throw this in my truck. And on my way home uh, from work, I seen a couple of spots. I, I probably can, you know what I'm saying, maybe do a speed run or something like that, charge up the batteries and go for it. But anyways, I mean, this thing is worth every penny. I mean, other than it was looping from um, just taking three minute videos and looping around and starting over. Um, Actually, if anybody buy this cam, I was talking to a guy off YouTube. He sent me the link, the file that you have to change. So if anybody buy this cam, just hit me up. I mean, hit me up, email me. I email you the same link. He emailed me and hey, you can, I got, and I stopped it. I got like 23 minutes out of this thing. I stopped it so I know it can do longer than that. And actually, I'm gonna pause it. Sorry about that YouTubers, I had to pause it. <laughs> Somebody was knocking at the door. Um, but nah, I got on um, like 23 minutes out there. This battery holds like three hours of charge, right at three hours of charge, so that's good. I went and bought on um, a 16 gigabyte SD card. So I think that's good for about an hour or so. I mean, that's all what you pretty much need. And if that don't work, I picked up this memory card, if you can read that. I don't wanna focus, focus, focus. Basically, YouTubers, this is a 64 gigabyte memory card. I picked that up, so I ain't used it yet. I mean, the 16 will work for what I need for right now, but anyways, I mean, I'm loving this thing. If I would recommend this camera to anybody. Like I said, you do a little change in the files and get it to record properly more than three minutes, it's a, it's a good little um, cam. I mean, I, I didn't record my little 118 scale, my little small little quad, the one that ain't as big as my hand, and I actually was able to pick it up. Actually, I recorded my own, what's that? Um, yeah, my little, um, my, that was my own Blade 180, and actually it was picking up the dragonflies that was that was messing around with it, so hey, I thought that was cool. I mean, for that, that picture quality, and for like I said, for like six, 65 bucks and actually i just seen them on there for 59 right at 60 bucks so hey you can find them for even cheaper than 65 bucks you can get them for 60 bucks so hey anyways youtubers that's my little update i want to give a big shout out because i hear myself babbling that's george r to bush brother i hope i'm, pro I'm pronouncing your name right it's George R. T. Bush from CT Motorsports. Thank you, my brother. I will be emailing you soon. YouTubers, I'm going to give you just a little people what I did get. Open it up. I don't want to make this video too long. Hold on. YouTubers, this is what I got. These the new GRPs. They don't come like the A compound, the B compound, K compound. They actually is the S1 compound. So, this is what I got. I will be testing these out and letting everybody know hey, if they work or not. Like I said, you know me. I will blow a tire, so. Ooh, they feel good too. Real sticky. Look at that. Pick up shit, right? So, this the S1 compound. This the super soft. You can, if you can hear that. That's what I'm talking about. The new, new GRPs, YouTubers. I got a set of them, so I will be balancing them off and running them. See what they can do. See if they go blow or go. Thank you, YouTubers. Tell me what you think. Comment and subscribe. George R. to Bush. CT Motorsports. Thank you, guys.